thank you very much for kind words and the kind introduction and uh, and also i would say that good evening everyone and it is indeed honored to have this opportunity to share a few uh, my experience with you in this lecture series organized by the main library i think i want to thank especially our the librarian dr kuruppu and anuja de silva and all the academy all the staff members of the our main library main library for giving this opportunity so today i thought to share my views especially on as you can see ensuring the quality of virtual learning even though this is i think you we all can see this is timely significant timely important theme but i personally believe that this is not new for all of you because you are engaging in online and or virtual learning teaching process for more than 2 years so where you already have identified and realized what are the strengths what are the weaknesses and what type of mechanism strategies we have to introduce to improve the quality of our online teaching learning process so then in this discussion i supposed to highlight especially my experience and the my views especially educational on from educational point of view i think this would help you to further improve your current and the present engagement in online or virtual learning so with that i suppose to start my uh, discussion for ensuring the quality of online or virtual learning this topic or this team i suppose to discuss based on three main aspects the first in this discussion i first i focus your attention significance of virtual learning or what is importance of virtual le learning for today's context why do we need to improve and promote virtual learning in the today's context the second how to ensure the quality in virtual learning so i believe that this is the important aspect of today's discussion and third one issues involved with online education so then i do not actually highlight much about the uh, third aspects issues involved with online education because once we discuss the especially second aspects you can realize and you can understand so what are the barriers or the what are the issues involved with online education so then i would like to move to the first aspect of uh, on my of my discussion that is significance of virtual learning why we need to promote or why need to uh, improve or uh, discuss the virtual learning in today's context what is the important of this so you all can see our journey we as a human being our journey from hunting and gathering society to information society or we call network society or digital society we call life long learning society as a human being we have entered into the information society or life long learning society you all know that the major function or a main characteristic of this information society so where we are living in today unprecedented development and use of information and communication technologies and the fact that information generation processing and transmission have become the fundamental source of productivity and power that is the main characteristic in the other way we can say creation dissemination and utilization of knowledge has become the most important a factor of production so as a result of this process 
creation, dissemination, and utilization, what happened in the today's context. So the available, the knowledge is become outdated within a very short period of time. That is the result. As a, that is the main or rapidly changing the available knowledge. So that is the important aspects we need to focus. Why we need to promote, why we need to uh, popular the virtual learning. So this is the main character. The knowledge is become outdated with, within a very short period of time. So to get a measure of this space, so you can see the new discoveries, invention, and developments in the decades of 1990s would equal in volume to knowledge earlier gathered over the centuries. So this is the good example. So the speed oh, to ensure the rapidly changing situation of knowledge and the information. So in addition to that, so then I can give another example how rapidly changing our available knowledge in today's context. There was more information produced in the 30 years between 1965 and 1995 than was produced in entire 5,000 years period from 3,000 BC to 1965. So this is the situation. So this is the situation. So what is happening today? The amount of information available in the world is doubling every three to five years. We can understand the situation. So then how rapidly changing our available or existing knowledge. So what we need to understand. So in this context, we need multiple approaches, multiple delivery modes to acquire the exploding and rapidly changing knowledge. So where the world has recognized and identified online learning or online teaching learning or online or virtual education has, ide has been identified as an effective delivery mode and a teaching learning process. So in that case, I believe we need to focus and we have to promote the online education in our institutions. The further, another example, as a 21st century citizens, as a 21st century citizens, we all need self-learning skills such as critical thinking skills, collaborative and problem solving, all those skills we need to develop in order to try with the emerging world. So without these skills, so we cannot, I think, move towards in this society. So then number of research already ensured that proven that online virtual learning help us to promote or inculcate this type of skills in our students, in our citizens. In that respect also, the virtual learning is highly significant and important for today's context. The another one last, why significant? What is the importance of moving towards virtual learning? We all know that main emphasis has been given for online education, what to achieve the SDG goal for. You all know that this is SDG, sustainable development goal for ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities. So then these are the main aspects. So then because of these reasons, we as a responsible institutions, we as a responsible citizens, in the country, so we have to pay our attention to promote online learning. So I would say these are the reasons to seal it, why we need to discuss this type of topics in today's context. So with that, with this background, so then I'll move to the my important aspects of today's discussion. Online learning and how is ensuring its quality? This is very important. I believe that in order to get a comprehensive understanding in this regard, so we have to have a good understanding 
what is teaching learning process so this would help you to understand or realize difference between online teaching learning and the face to face traditional teaching learning process so that's why i decided to highlight to discuss what is teaching learning process first so this will help us to understand or think about how can promote this virtual learning uh, and teach teaching process so then what is teaching learning process so you all can see teacher student curriculum and other variables so these are the main aspect of the teaching learning process these are the main aspects involved in teaching learning process so then what is teaching learning process teaching learning process is these aspects are organized in a systematic manner to attain predetermined aims and objectives so then you can understand very clearly the success of the teaching learning process or the achievement of the learning outcomes achieving the learning outcomes depend upon these aspects teacher students curriculum and other variables so in order to achieve the expected outcome definitely in the teaching learning process to whatever the traditional teaching learning mode or a virtual or online teaching learning mode so we have to organize this aspect in a systematic and the proper manner because the quality and the success of this process depend upon these aspects so this is the teaching learning process we have to have a good understanding about this concepts so then i'll get your attention for the operational aspect of the teaching learning process so then you can see where we can find learning environment very simply what is learning environment the learning environment is the place the where teaching and learning is taken place if it is face to face teach or traditional mode so we have to have a kind of a classroom physical location with the necessary equipments and the devices and healthy background of the environment in order to learn in order to continue this teaching learning process the place where teaching and learning take taken place and the second one the other aspect student and the teacher the main, same time you can find the learning process so what is the learning process the learning process is the interaction between student and the teacher this is the the learning process is the core of the teaching learning process Le again i want to highlight learning process is the core of the teaching learning process that learning is taken place as a result of good that the proper interaction between student and the teacher so then this slide give a kind of a message the quality of the teaching learning process again depend on mainly these three aspect learning we need to establish a good learning environment and we how to have a good interaction between student and the teacher so then in the virtual learning environments so what type of mechanism what type of strategies we can you apply in order to maintain the interaction between these two if there is no proper interaction between these two there is no learning is taken place without learning what is that is the a teaching learning process that is useless so then the success of the virtual learning online learning depend upon the good interaction between these two in order to maintain good interaction we have to have a good learning environment with the required devices and the required necessary requirements so we have to think about that so in order to ensure the quality so we have to think these aspects very carefully and then now i believe that you all can very clearly understand 
the, the quality or the success of the teaching learning process depend upon mainly these three aspects, environment, learning environment, especially the virtual learning space where students ex exchange knowledge and expertise using the virtual classroom. We how to think about, so what are, whether there is access facilities for all, whether there is sufficient devices or are necessary facilities for all to engage in teaching learning process, the good, whether there is a good and uh, the healthy learning background, the environment for all. So we have to consider these aspects. Environment is a very important and essential aspect in the teaching learning process. And the student, so we have to, uh, we have to think about the student capacity of the students and the, the willingness of the students and the motivation towards learning. Educability along with necessary attitudes and motives. Educability, ability to educate and willing to learn. So we have to check and we have to assess this aspect ability of the students because that affect to the quality of the online or virtual learning. And the teacher, other aspect, educability along with necessary attitudes and motives whether our academics, whether our instructors, whether our teachers have the proper capacity to conduct, to maintain the inter interact with the students or convey the, what, the message or convey the content what we accept. So this is very important. I want to highlight again, stress again, that the quality of online, not only the online learning, the, but also the face-to-face -face traditional learning, the quality and the success depend upon mainly these three aspects. So then we can understand. So then if we need to improve the quality, the virtual learning, if we need to improve the ensure the quality of the online learning, so we have to develop these aspects. We have to develop these aspects our focus, we have to specially consider these aspects in order to improve the quality of online teaching in our institution. So then ensuring the quality of online learning context. So then I prefer to take the Palaf and Pratt. Actually, the transition from the traditional face-to-face -face classroom to online learning can be successfully achieved and quality can be ensured by closely examining the following factors. What are the factors? They emphasize that, stress that, ensuring the access to and familiarity with the technology use, ensuring the access and the familiarity with the technology use, Establishing relatively loose and free-flowing guidelines for procedure. This is the, I believe, responsibility of the institution. The first one, it's our responsibility, institutional as well as the academic or the teacher's responsibility to ensure the access and familiarity with the technology that affect for both. This is number one is re relevant and applicable for both parties, teachers, as well as the students. We need to think about that. Striving to active maximum participation of participant. As I mentioned earlier, striving to active and active maximum participation of participation. So we have to encourage, motivate student, and we have to maintain the proper interaction between student and teacher, not only that, student, students. So then it striving to active maximum participation of participants. That's also very important factor to improve the quality of online learning. The last one, promoting collaborative learning and enabling online uh, the participants to reflect their learning. That is in order to learn in, the in internalize the learnings, the reflection must be practiced. 
that's why they, they ask to promote collaborative and enabling online participants and they reflect their learning. So this would create a kind of a learning situations, actively participating, create a meaning and construct their own meaning. What we propose to learn and they, by their own, they will prepare or they will create and construct their own meaning. So then only learning is internalized. That is very important. So then Paloff and Pratt highlight this, they pointed out these factors. Those are very important to ensure the quality of online learning. And some principles, at the same time, I would like to uh, highlight some principles to ensure that which help to ensure the quality of online education. So what are those, uh, what are those uh, principles. If we suppose to establish or uh, try to promote the online education, online teaching, learning in our institution, we have to think about this aspect. The number one, first, we need to establish a culture for online education. That is number one. That's because the online education must be fully integrated within the large academic community of of an institution. That's number one. In addition to that, this culture should represent the following aspects. In other way, I can say that the institutional culture for online education should be established based on the following aspects. What are those aspects? There should be a practical, effective, and sensible structure and organization for development of courses and programs. In our institutions, in our faculty, maybe the library, maybe the uh, units, institutions, we have to have uh, that kind of a structure and the uh, organization for development special courses and programs. So that would help to create a good culture online for online education. So another aspect, research-based based institutional practice. So this culture, in order to develop an online culture in our institutions, so these practices would maximally help us. So because there should be an, uh, sorry, the quality online education integrates and proven the research based best institutional practices. So therefore, if we supposed to develop a such kind of a environment or a culture in our institution, so we have to think about that, that can develop based on these research based practices. Definitely we have to think about this. And the next one is multiple strategies and activities to assess students' readiness and progress. Quality online learning takes full advantage of variety of variety of tools, a user-friendly interface, and the interface accessible. This part aspects also very much important. So these are the main aspects that would help us to develop or establish a culture for online education. So therefore, as a responsible institution, so we have to think these aspects will help us to create a good culture. So then number one, the main important thing is we have to have a good culture for online education. So in other way, we can say, we can see this is online learning environment. If we have this type of learning environment, this would help to promote and ensure the quality of virtual education. So then designing an effective, as I mentioned, environment, online learning environment is essential effective online learning environment. So then to ensure
to ensure the quality of online instruction the online learning environment must be designed first before the instructor embarks on online course delivery this is very much important so that's why i wanted to highlight the important thing is culture for a learning environment so the online learning environment embraces so what are the pedagogical use of technology online learning environment embraces pedagogical use of technology whatever the technology we we use those technological things should support to learn right pedagogy art and science art and science for facilitate to teaching students so therefore whatever the technological aspects we use in our online education teaching learning process those should support students learning that is very important pedagogical use of technology integration of instructional design elements so what are just such as lesson plan the what are the learning outcomes what are the uh, proposed activities to achieve those learning outcome what are the assessment methods very clearly prepare a kind of a plan so we can call those these instructional design uh, so that should be in the integrate of instructional design elements that embrace in a learning environment so various types of medium and media those are also embraced in the learning environment and in addition to that diversified learning methods include deep learning critical thinking and collaborative learning and problem based learning that type of learning method should included into the learning and environment so those are embraced in the learning environment this is very important so we as the person we as the academic who Uh, engage in online and virtual learning or oh, virtual learning so we have to think about that whether we are concerned on these special matters these things because these are very important factors to ensure the quality of virtual learning strategies for designing and delivering effective learning so then we already discussed the environment so then i'm moving to kind of a teachers aspect the teaching methods know when they receive in training in use of technology instructors should understand that online edu this is very much important as academic we should understand that online education is not merely uploading teaching materials receiving and sending email messages like that that is not the actually online learning more importantly it provides an arena for an interactive deep collaborative and multi dimensional thinking and learning environment so we have to establish create such a learning situation in order to actively engage in whatever the things we propose so this is the virtual learning or not mere uh, transmitting information or uploading the learning material that is not the teaching so as a academic so we have to think about that we have to uh, take into consideration uh, considerations these aspects this is very important instructor play an important role in motivating effective online discussion so therefore more online guidance more structured discussion topics and considerate time devotion are required for instructors so these aspects are very important so in order to as i highlight earlier so in in order to conduct or maintain a very good interaction between student student as well as the student and the teacher so we have to think about these aspects these are very important to maintain the quality in addition to that so online course will be high quality 
if we plan those uh, teaching learning process in a way that student centered this also very important so this also try to highlight actually we need to design our teaching learning process online teaching learning process as student centered manner student centered when knowledge is constructed not transmitted that is a kind of a main feature of student centered learning knowledge is constructed not transmitted student can take full responsibility for their own learning and students are motivated to want to learn what they want to learn if they are willing so then they definitely they motivate the course provides mental wide space for reflection learning activities appropriately match students learning styles so these are the kind of uh, main characteristic features of student centered learning if we are planning of our, our online teaching learning process so, so then we have to plan or design that in a way that student centered learning where student take the responsibility of their of their learning that's the important so here i wish to this is the actually meaning of education meaning of learning so in order to act, realize the actual meaning of education so online not only the online teaching learning process so but also the traditional teaching learning process so we have to design in a way that so is student centered manner why i am saying that so education is it's not the kind of a thing education is not the acquisition of knowledge so education is a conceptual change why i am saying that so that you all know that as we learn our conception of phenomena change once we get the experience once we become mature so our conception of phenomena change what is conception the mother is a conception the love conception yaha palane is a concept right once we learn as we learn our conception of phenomena change and we see the world accordingly we see the world differently than earlier the acquisition of knowledge so what we are traditionally practicing and transmitting the knowledge so acquisition of information itself does not bring about such a change this is very important acquisition of information itself does not bring about such a change but the way we structured that and that information and the way we think with it does that is the information that is important so that's why i highlight you that emphasize you that education is not a acquisition of knowledge it's a conceptual change it's a conceptual change so in order to do this change so we have to give the opportunity to student to think and construct their meaning we need to give them opportunity to think their own way i believe that the virtual platform give us a kind of uh, opportunity to develop uh, that type of learning environment so they need to help us to develop the student centered or self directed learning skills of the students so then the quality of the virtual learning or online learning will depend can maintain if we can plan this process in a way that student centered manner so those are the how we can ensure the quality that's the second aspects of the of my discussion so i personally believe that no need to discuss further what are the issues with your experience you have realized what are the barriers or the what are the issues involved in online teaching learning process because 
you are you have been engaging in this process for more than two years what are the barriers pertaining to the teachers what are the barriers with regard to the student what are the technological barriers but i wish to give a kind of a research findings issues and barriers to quality online learning birch and team pointed out 10 actually clusters the issues and barriers that we find the barriers or issues pertaining to technical expertise also we find the issues of barriers administrative structure in the with regard to the online teaching learning process barriers pertaining to the evaluation and effectiveness the issues pertaining to the organization change social interaction and quality and student support service threatened by technology access to technology and faculty compensation and time and finally legal issues so these people the researchers have pointed out these clusters so we can find these the barriers pertaining to the online learning pertaining to these clusters technical expertise and administrative like that so if we are suppose if we are supposing to establish a good online or virtual learning education culture in our institution so then very carefully we have to uh, we, we have to consider this aspect and very deeply how to identify the what are the barriers we can find with regard to these aspects. So we would help those things. And finally, few recommendations would like to suggest to you. Limit the size of online and online class because the feedback and the breeding suffers when there are a large number. We all know that we have realized those. It's another recommendation. It's no need to read believe. Consider carefully the types of instructional design to be used to increase students' interaction for the objectives of the course. Determine the influence of multimedia upon instructional process, new roles of academics, students, and relevant authorities. So we have to change our roles, the traditional role. So we have to adapt with these. So that is a kind of a thing. So we have to understand what are those. The further provide continuous and periodic student and program evaluation to assess quality indicators encouraged to explore the online environment and make well-informed decision regarding its appropriateness. Faculty and students must learn how to use the online tools that ensure that teaching and learning is appropriate for academic success. So we have to think about this. I will give these recommendations. So in order to this will help us to promote or ensure the quality of our online or a virtual teaching learning process finally if we are so if we are going to establish a, this type of culture in our institution in my faculty the library in a uni, total university system so we have to have a good assessment on ourselves we have to have a, where we are whether we are capable enough to establish a, that type of culture so then if we have a good assessment, so then I believe, so we can establish a good environment or a good culture for online education. So what are the aspects we need to check? So then spider gam online learning practice. So we have to think about where we are pertaining to this aspect. Student readiness towards online or a virtual learning. Our vision, our institutional vision on online learning, research and evaluation. So where we are with regard to the research and evaluation the, pertaining to this 
with regard to the online learning. Our policy on online education, resources, infrastructure facilities, and training and support, whether we are capable enough to provide a good, uh, I think, the support mechanism, the train the, the people in order to conduct the online teaching, learning, or online education, and the curriculum. So we have to think about these aspects. So if we have a proper understanding, if we have a good back, sufficient knowledge and information in this regard, definitely this will help us to establish a good uh, culture for online education in our institution, mainly University of Colombo, and in addition to that, separately in our institutions. So those are the main thing actually that I wanted to highlight in this uh, lecture or in this discussions. So thank you very much again for giving this opportunity.